Today we are learning synthesis of adipic acid under green chemistry principle renewable feedstock. Green chemistry is the design of chemical products and processes that reduce or eliminate the generation of hazardous substances. Here the principle under study is renewable feedstock. According to this principle, the feedstock or raw material should be renewable rather than depleting one. Renewable feedstock is often made from agricultural products or they are the waste products from other processes. We are taking the example of synthesis of adipic acid and this is the structure of adipic acid. It is mainly used as a precursor for the production of nylon. Let us see the conventional route for the synthesis of adipic acid. Benzene is used as a starting material. It is then treated with hydrogen. A reduction process is carried out in the presence of rani nickel as a catalyst and cyclohexane is obtained. As it is treated with hydrogen atoms, all the pi bonds of benzene are broken, converted into a saturated compound that is cyclohexane. It is then treated with oxygen in the presence of cobalt as a catalyst where oxidation is carried out and cyclohexanone is obtained. Then it is oxidized in the presence of nitric acid and bond breaking process takes place and that is how we get the final product that is adipic acid. In the greener route, we use glucose as a starting material and we know that glucose is a renewable material. Now adipic acid will be produced from glucose which is a renewable material. Glucose is treated with E. coli bacteria to produce 3 dehydroshikimate. The same product is again treated with E. coli to get cis cis muconic acid. When the reactions are carried out in the presence of bacteria, the mechanism is uncertain. As we can see in the product, both the priority groups are on the same side, therefore it is called as cis cis muconic acid. Now the structure is very close to the adipic acid, hence it is treated with the hydrogen and the reduction process is carried out in the presence of platinum as a catalyst and the adipic acid is formed. Now under this principle, we have studied that adipic acid is formed from the benzene in the case of conventional route and benzene is a non-renewable or depleting source which is obtained from the petroleum refineries. Now in the case of greener route, it was synthesized from the glucose which is a renewable or non-depleting sources. Thanks for watching. If you like, click subscribe for more such videos.